So at this moment within the practice of yoga, if we just use this book as a reference point, at the moment within this practice, we're saying that the ultimate goal of the practice of yoga is to cease fluctuation of the mind. Mind, if we can then break it into three components, so we have manas that deals with thoughts and emotions. So this means that we cease fluctuation within thought and emotion. This doesn't mean that we eradicate ourselves of thought and emotion. So we have to think of everything as having a maturity. So we have a, a thought and emotion that is acting in a sense immature or seeking attention. And then we have thought and emotion that is at a mature stage. That it is no longer seeking attention. But it is now acting or um, uh, developing with us rather than away from us. This only happens when we actually listen to what the emotion and the thought is saying. So quite often we have to refocus ourselves at this stage of the conversation to say that thoughts and emotions have complete, um, uh, what's the word? Validity. Validity, yeah, within the overall experience of spirituality. Somewhere along the way, we were told on a general basis that we shouldn't think and that we shouldn't feel emotion. But we need to think and we need to feel at its highest levels of potential, at its cleanest place. So my advice at this stage of our conversation is to listen to all thought with discernment. So there, there in this expression has to be uh, the, the wise one. So ultimately, who is the wise one within your own experience? The intelligence. So the intelligence is connected to what would you say? Instinct. Instinct, and instinct is connected to Buddhi. the Buddhi mind. Yeah. So now we have this intelligence that is completely invested into our experiences as they're occurring. So both on an instinctual level, which would be your, sec your first chakra, and that on an intuitive level, which would be your ajna. So you have one that is completely instinctual, and the other that is completely intuitive. So instinctual means that it is your survival mechanism and you can rely on it 100% to get from point A to point B. Your intuition is based upon the heightened levels of intelligence that seem to come from somewhere mystical but still exist within you. And this is now the grace that you move through your life with. So if we can listen to just those two things, the instinct and the intuition, we become incredibly uh, developed and evolved to then become, in a sense, uh, the guiding force for our thoughts and emotions reaching a level of maturity. Is this all making sense so far?